What's up guys, I hope you're doing well today. Many of you have been asking me to show you how I make a certain zest that I've been doing a few times on this channel so far. And today is the day you're gonna see it is very simple. And we're also continuing with the Limitation Cocktail series. Today we're making a riff on the Lucien Gaudin, which is a Negroni-like cocktail. You're gonna see it is delicious. So if you guys are ready, let's go. All right guys, so welcome back to the channel, the Limitation Cocktails part two today. So in case you were not here last week, the Limitation Cocktail is a new series on this channel due to the situation right now. We don't wanna go out too often. So we're gonna try to make a series of cocktail recipes, very simple, utilizing only ingredients we have most of the time in a home bar or recycling homemade stuff that we previously made on this channel. But today we're keeping it very simple, four ingredients in the cocktail, no house-made preparation, we're making a riff on the Lucien Gaudin, which is a Negroni-like cocktail, usually made with gin, Campari, dry vermouth, and triple sec. But today we're gonna use mezcal instead of gin and dry curacao instead of the triple sec. So we're gonna have a smokier version of it. It is very simple and very delicious. So if you guys are ready, let's start with the cocktail. All right, so we're gonna start with an ounce and a half of mezcal. and then three quarters of an ounce of dry vermouth. Followed by three quarters of an ounce again of Campari. And lastly, three quarters of an ounce of dry curacao. And then we're gonna fill our mixing glass with ice and stir it for about 60 revolutions. And now you're gonna strain it into your favorite chill cocktail coupe. And now, as promised, I'm gonna show you how to make the orange garnish. So when you zest the citrus, if you want a longer zest, it's always good to go a little diagonal. If you go straight from top to bottom, you're gonna have a shorter one. And if you go all around it, you're gonna ruin the citrus with only one zest. So if you go diagonal, you're gonna have longer zests while still being able to make several ones out of only one citrus. All right, so now that you have your beautiful zest, what you wanna do is to trim it in order to make it look like a parallelogram. So to do that, you wanna cut both sides lengthwise like this. And for the end of the zest, you wanna give a little angle to your cuts, just like that, to get your parallelogram. Now for the other cuts, you're gonna start from one spike right here, and you're gonna cut going towards the other spike on the opposite side of the zest. Be careful not to cut all the way till the end because you wanna keep your zest in one piece. And once you're done with that one, you're gonna repeat it on the other side, just like that. Now you're done with the cuts, all you have to do left is to twist it. So to do it the right way, you're gonna hold the zest, the skin facing you, and you're gonna flip it just like that, 360 degrees, until both tips are parallel. Now the last step is to cross them over, just like that, and this, my friend, is how I make my favorite orange twist. All right guys, so promise kept my favorite way to make the perfect orange twist with a Mezcal Lucien Gourdin for the Limitation Cocktail number two. Now, let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. It is very smoky, obviously with the ounce and a half of mezcal, it is very good. It is bitter and orange forward, so if you like Negroni, you will like this one. If you like smoky flavors, you will like it even more. I highly recommend you give it a try, it is a delicious cocktail. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, have a wonderful week and see you very soon. Cheers.